There will always be haters. If you're a YouTuber, even a fairly small one like me, you'll know what I'm talking about. Almost every video you make will have at least one thumbs down. Even if you discovered the cure for cancer and published your findings for free on YouTube, there would still be some group of dickheads who give you a thumbs down and leave comments saying that you're only doing it for the money, or to get subscribers, or that you're a CIA operative working for Big Pharma trying to promote socialism. YouTube actively encourages creators to engage directly with their audience by responding to comments. But if it's going to cause you a lot of heartache, what's the point? The stream of negative comments is endless. So in this video, I'm going to list the benefits of not responding to the haters and ignoring the comments section altogether. Number 1. Mental health. Even if 90% of comments are fairly positive, all it takes is that one or two negative comments to ruin your day. YouTubers put a lot of effort into making videos, so when a commenter comes along and says, you should probably delete your channel and do the world a favour, then it doesn't make you feel very good. But it's not just one negative comment, it's an endless stream of comments that hits your inbox every single day. Imagine if teachers or parents spoke to their children in a negative or disparaging way every day of their lives. They would literally destroy that child mentally. I could ask my audience, please don't write disparaging comments. But that's like asking the Pope not to wear a hat. So the only viable option is to avoid the comments section. By reading them, you are risking your mental health. Number 2. Waste of time. By engaging with the haters in the comments section, you are literally wasting your time. Even if you come up with the most articulate response, do you really think it's going to change the opinions of the person leaving the comment? Highly unlikely. The amount of time it takes to form a well-reasoned reply is lost on a person who literally spent 10 seconds writing, your mama needs to disown you because you're an embarrassment to your family. Don't waste your time responding to these idiots. That time could be better spent making new videos. Number 3. Feelings of being overwhelmed. Imagine you're in a room and 10 people are asking you different questions all at once. Now multiply that by 100. A thousand people all slinging questions and comments at you. Some are saying that your nose is too big. Some are commenting on your mispronunciation of a certain word. Some are asking you when you're going to delete your account and then delete yourself. Some want a refund of the 2 minutes and 37 seconds that they invested in your video. If this happened face to face, everybody would feel overwhelmed. The bigger your channel gets, the more exposure you have to the dregs of society. Do yourself a favour. Don't put yourself through it anymore. Number 4. Big YouTubers have followed suit. All the big YouTubers have come to the same conclusion. Engaging with the comments section is a fruitless endeavour. What's the best that can happen? Maybe a couple of your fans will be happy that you replied to them, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Joe Rogan, Ricky Gervais, Taylor Swift, they all pretty much say the same thing. It's pointless listening to the haters. Ricky Gervais once said, paraphrased, if you're walking down the street and there's a guy in a bin covered with filth hurling abuse at you, do you listen to him? You're too fat. You're too old for TV. You're a communist socialist. No, you ignore his ramblings and move on. Why would anyone listen to the ramblings of a madman? And that's pretty much what all the big YouTubers are doing. They ignore the haters by ignoring the comments section altogether. Number 5. YouTube will probably end up removing the comments section. All signs point to YouTube giving up on the comments section, and I don't blame them. Some comments are filled full of such hate and vitriol that it's starting to have an economic impact at YouTube. You see, YouTube pretty much make all their money from advertising, so when advertisers start to pull out because of particular comments being allowed to be published on videos, then something needs to be done about it. So far, YouTube have tried to use automatic filtering, but it only gets you so far. Stopping the odd F-bomb here and there isn't going to stop people from making loose comments about children. YouTube have actually taken the drastic step of disabling comments from entire channels because their filtering is simply not working. Some YouTubers have complained about this, but what else can YouTube do? One option would be to have an entire team of sleuths who go around reading each and every comment, but the amount of people needed to do so would be prohibitively expensive. It simply will not happen. AI can only go so far. There's always ways to trick AI, as I've seen in my comments. People have found ways to add a conveniently placed space in the middle of a word, or replace certain letters with other letters, or use invented euphemisms. It's too easy to get around filters if you've got your mind set on doing so. So there we go. They're the five reasons for giving up on the comments section and ignoring the haters. 1. Mental health. There's no use hurting yourself by reading the rubbish that appears below your video. 
2. Waste of time. You're better off spending your time making more videos. 3. Feelings of being overwhelmed. Nobody likes being bombarded with questions in real life, so why submit yourself to it online? 4. Big YouTubers have followed suit. Don't think you're hurting your fan base by not replying to comments. So many channels have proven otherwise. 5. YouTube will probably remove the comment section anyway, mainly due to economic reasons, pretty much the only reason YouTube do anything. Ordinarily, I would ask you a question at the end of my videos. What are your thoughts on the comment section? Should people ignore the haters? Should we ignore the comment section altogether? Feel free to write your thoughts below, but from what you've probably already gathered, I'm probably not going to read them.